Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install MySQL 8.4 on Rocky Linux 9. The process is same on all Rocky Linux versions. Click on activities, then open any browser, then go to MySQL official website that is mysql.com. Click on downloads, scroll down, click on MySQL community downloads, then click on MySQL M report. See, we have the RPM package for R, RHL 9 and 8. So, we can use this RHL 9 package for Rocky Linux 9. So, click on download. Right click on this one. Copy link. Now, go to terminal. Double get. Paste that link and hit enter. This success. Control L to clear screen. LS. See, you have the RPM package. Now install it by running the command rpm hyphen i then give the mysql and give the tab to auto fill the rpm package and hit enter. It is done. Now install the mysql server sudo dnf install mysql hyphen community hyphen server. It installs the mysql 8.4. Hit enter. See, it is installing MySQL Community 8.4. See, it requires this much space. And this is the download size. And these are the MySQL tools. Okay. And MySQL server version is 8.4. Type Y for confirmation and hit enter. See, we have successfully installed MySQL 8.4. Let us verify MySQL status. sudo systemctl status MySQL D. MySQL D is the service name for MySQL server. Hit enter. See, we have installed MySQL server and its service is enabled but it is not started. Q to fit. Control L to clear screen. Let us start it. sudo systemctl start MySQL D. Hit enter. It is started. Let us verify the status again. See, MySQL service is active and running. Okay, Q to quit. Now, let us connect to MySQL server. Before that, we have to find the temporary password. By running the command, grep temporary where log mysql dot log hit enter we have to run with sudo user see this is the temporary password for this root account okay which is required to connect to mysql so mysql hyphen u root hyphen p so copy this password this may not be the same for you okay paste it hit enter See, we have successfully connected. But first step after connecting to is we have to reset the password for this root account. Okay. This C server version is 8.4. Even if you want to try the or check the server version, see it won't allow. So first step is we have to set the password for this root account. So command is alter user, then provide the account name. We have to give root at the rate local. Copy it, paste it, identified by, then provide the new password. Once we set this one, this password won't work. Okay, so hit enter, the success. Now run the same command like select version. This time it will give the output. See, we have installed the MySQL server version 8.4.0. Now verify the list of the databases. Show databases. See, we have this. Databases comes with MySQL installation. To create a database, we have to use the command create database R2. Let us verify again. Show databases. See, we have the new database R2. Let us switch to this database and create some tables. Use is the keyword to switch to database. 
put semicolon at the end of the statement and hit enter. Now create a table, create table Now verify list of the tables. See, one table is created. Let us insert some data into this table. Insert into table name, then values. Insert one more row just to replace the values. Insert one more row. See, free. see here I am not changing the S number. Okay, so it will throw error. Why? Because we have given the S number as primary key. So it must be the unique value. So we have to give or not to or any other number than the existing ones. Hit enter. We have successfully inserted. Let us check the data in this table. See, we have three rows in this table. Okay. Now, let us verify the list of the users. Show users. This will throw error. We can't get the users by using the show command. So, we have to run the select user from mysql dot user. See, we have these default users comes with mysql installation. Let us create a user. Create user James identified by provide the password. The password is whatever is there in singular double quotes, not the double quote. See, the password is this is the password. Now verify list of the users again. See, new user is added. Exit from this one and try to connect to MySQL using new user. P. Then provide the password. See, this is the password. Okay, copy from here or type manually. Paste it, hit enter. See, we have successfully connected. But if you try to switch to Autoscus, we can't, we can't because access denied for this user on this database. So, we haven't granted the privileges to connect to this James user. So, I will make another video for how to grant privileges in MySQL. So, to exit, give the exit. Now, we will see how to stop, start, and restart MySQL on. Rocky Linux. Control L to clear screen. Before that, verify this status of MySQL service. Status MySQL D is the service name. See, MySQL service is running. Now, stop it. sudo systemctl stop then MySQL D. MySQL service is stopped. Let us verify. See, MySQL service is inactive or dead. Okay. Go to quit. Control L to clear screen. Now connect to MySQL after stopping. It won't allow. See, we are unable to connect. Now start it again. Just replace the stop with start and hit enter. Now connect MySQL hyphen U root is the username P. Then provide the password of root user. See, we are able to connect. Exit. Restart the MySQL service by using the command sudo systemctl. Restart MySQL D. Okay. Last step is ls remove this RPM. RM MySQL remove it. So in this video we have seen how to install and configure MySQL 8.4 on Rocky Linux. Then we have seen post installation steps for MySQL 8.4 on Rocky Linux. For more MySQL or Linux videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.